If you were designing an animal from scratch, you probably wouldn't give it three hearts. One seems complicated enough, yet the octopus, one of the ocean's strangest and smartest creatures, does exactly that. Three hearts, blue blood, arms that think for themselves, and a nervous system unlike almost anything else on Earth. The question isn't just why octopuses have three hearts, but how evolution created this unusual solution and what it reveals about ocean life. Let's dive right into it, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand why an octopus needs three hearts, you first have to understand the world it lives in. Octopuses are soft-bodied cephalopods, a group that also includes squid and cuttlefish. Unlike fish, they don't have scales, skeletons, or protective shells. Everything about them is flexible, fast, and metabolically demanding. Their lifestyle demands speed, advanced camouflage, intelligence, and constant movement across complex seafloor terrain. All of that takes energy and energy requires oxygen. An octopus has one central heart and two branchial hearts. The branchial hearts sit near the gills, one on each side of the body. Their job is to pump blood to the gills, where oxygen is absorbed from seawater. The central heart then pumps that oxygenated blood from the gills to the rest of the body. Instead of one heart handling everything, the workload is divided, creating an efficient system for extremely high oxygen demands. But why not just one very strong heart? The answer lies in octopus blood. Unlike humans, whose blood uses iron-based hemoglobin to carry oxygen, octopus blood uses copper-based hemocyanin. Hemocyanin works well in cold, low-oxygen waters, but carries oxygen less efficiently than hemoglobin, becoming even less effective during high activity. That means an octopus must circulate large volumes of blood to get enough oxygen, more than a single heart can handle. Octopus blood is blue because hemocyanin turns blue when it binds with oxygen a copper-based system that once led early sailors to think injured octopuses were bleeding poison or ink. This works with their three-heart system. Two hearts boost blood pressure at the gills for oxygen intake, while the central heart delivers it to muscles for squeezing, camouflage, and jet-propelled escapes. There's a fascinating trade-off here, though. When an octopus swims, its central heart actually stops beating. This sounds alarming, until you realize that swimming is incredibly exhausting for octopuses. Most of the time, they crawl with their arms, as swimming stops the central heart, making long-distance motion unsustainable. This is one reason octopuses aren't marathon swimmers like fish. Their biology favors short bursts of motion, not endurance. This limitation has shaped octopus behavior. Instead of chasing prey across open water, octopuses rely on stealth, ambush, and intelligence. They hide in crevices, camouflage themselves perfectly, and strike with precision. Their cardiovascular system doesn't support long pursuits, but it supports quick, decisive action. Evolution didn't just give them three hearts, it rewired their entire strategy for survival. The three hearts also support the octopus's unusual nervous system, where nearly two-thirds of its neurons are spread throughout its arms, allowing each one to sense and respond independently. Coordinating this distributed intelligence and fueling an energy-hungry brain requires steady oxygen delivery meaning the hearts don't just power movement, they make complex thought possible. There's also an evolutionary backstory here. 
Ancient cephalopods once had shells, like today's Nautilus. As octopus ancestors lost their shells, they gained flexibility and speed, but lost protection. To survive, they had to evolve other advantages, intelligence, camouflage, and rapid physiological responses. The three heart system is part of that evolutionary package. It's a solution to the problem of being soft, exposed and vulnerable in a world full of predators. Interestingly, this system also comes with a cost. Octopuses have relatively short lifespans, often just one to two years. Their high metabolism, intense activity and complex physiology wear the body down quickly. After mating, many octopuses stop eating and die shortly after reproduction. Scientists believe the stress on their circulatory and nervous systems plays a role in this rapid decline. The same traits that make them extraordinary also limit how long they can live. Even reproduction is influenced by their unique biology. Female octopuses devote enormous energy to protecting and oxygenating their eggs, sometimes fanning them continuously with fresh water. During this period, the mother's body deteriorates. Her heart keeps working, but her priorities shift entirely toward the next generation. It's a dramatic, almost tragic end, but one shaped by the same evolutionary forces that gave her three hearts in the first place. Octopuses have three hearts because one couldn't support the life they evolved to live. Copper-based blood, high intelligence, and rapid, flexible movement all demand a constant flow of oxygen. Their blue blood and multiple hearts aren't accidents or excesses, but precise evolutionary solutions shaped by the deep sea, making three hearts a necessity for one of Earth's most remarkable animals. And the next time you see an octopus gliding through the water, changing color in an instant, solving puzzles, or slipping through impossible spaces, remember this. Beneath that alien exterior is a circulatory system working overtime. Three hearts beating in quiet coordination, keeping one of nature's greatest experiments alive. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.